Cal Palmer's child, well, they, they just called her KC. It was a nickname she had, and that's how she's generally referred to as KC. I had her, I think, in two classes, and then I ended up being her thesis supervisor for her master's thesis research. Actually, it turns out uh, she showed up with her future husband. Uh, apparently, they met when she came here. She was a very hardworking, very dedicated student. Uh, she had a real desire to, to uh, succeed. Uh, she came from one of the smaller schools in India, and uh, again, uh, had to adapt to life in this country, but she, I think, made the transition very quickly. I never remember her saying anything about wanting to become an astronaut. Uh, I actually found out from one of our Indian students in our department. And she'll be the... Of course, she's very proud of her, and uh, we became really good friends. Uh, we've had her back to campus on several occasions. I was invited to her first launch. We were actually at a uh, visitor launch site. Uh, I think it was a mile and a half from the actual launch. And uh, when the rocket took off, and it surprisingly it took off right on time, <laughs> which doesn't happen all the time, uh, you could feel the vibrations in your chest, the low frequency uh, vibrations coming from the, the rocket engines. So it was impressive. I took pictures of it all the way up until it, I couldn't focus on the camera any further. I had been invited to the second launch, but I got a stomach virus uh, beforehand and had to cancel out. But we were going down to Houston when they returned back to Houston from the landing at the Cape. My wife and I had taken our puppy for a walk that morning and had got back uh, just about 15 minutes before they were scheduled to fly over. So we were out on the patio watching it go over and uh, heard the, uh, the, the uh, explosion. But at the time, I didn't realize it was an explosion because by, by the time the sound reached the ground, uh, the shuttle was off in the horizon. And I thought it was just a shock wave coming from the, the nose of the vehicle that I heard. But then, you know, just as we went in and turned the news on. And as soon as we heard the announcement that they were not showing up on radar, then we knew what had happened. Hundreds of students come together to pay their respect to Kalpana Chavla. We still get a lot of students uh, from India that come here because this is where KC went to school. In fact, I had a young lady in my class last fall and we got to talking. Turns out that's why she came here, is because this is where KC went to school. She, she brought some plaques. I have one in my office that's actually the departmental plaque. But she gave us a personal plaque at home and she said to Don and Pat, my adopted American family. And so, you know, that certainly is something that we're proud of. She made a lasting impression in India, obviously, and she's well thought of in India. So she, she, yeah, she left a lasting impression here.